Today, we're busting some more junk wax. But to me, though, this is not junk. What I have today is classic 1994 basketball draft, a sealed hobby box. And back then, actually, they used to number them. This is box number 215,367 out of only 249,000 boxes made. So back when I was a kid in 94, actually, I was 14 years old in 94, I bought a lot of this product, a lot of packs back then. But there actually are some pretty cool inserts in here. You can get out a Shaq autograph card. They were incredibly hard to hit. I actually knew a couple of people who actually did find some back in the 90s. But one thing is this is the 15 card Dickie V's PT Piers set. That was always a super cool set to collect. So there's some cool stuff in here. And there's the Rookie of the Year sweepstakes set. The rookie that you got out won Rookie of the Year. Then you got a set of cards sent to you. Of course, that year it was co Rookie of the Year with Grant Hill and Jason Kidd. Here we go. Let's do this. You ready? Actually, the R has a small s split in, in the cellophane. Let's go ahead. Rip it off the rest of the way. We're going back to 1994 basketball. Look at those packs. 90s goodness right here. We're going to crack open this entire box in this video. <laughs> These are a lot of packs. Go ahead. Let me... Get that nice and there we go. Look at these are so many freaking packs. How many is even in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nine, twenty, one, two. Wow, looks like there's 36 packs in this box. Wow, that's a lot of packs. So since there's 36 packs, let's do like what seven or Eight packs at a time to start ripping. Uh, these used to have the odds in the back of the pack, I think, right? Back in the 90s, yeah, here's here's the odds. The odds on the back of this, if it'll focus. You have the Rookie of the Year card, the Chrome 1-1 one, one, in City 2 packs. You have your PTP or card 124, Classic Picks card 172, Shaq Autograph card, 1 in 360, and a Hockey Preview card. So it actually should be like one Shaq per case. I say back in the day, I never hit a shack. How awesome would it be to actually here in the year 2023 to actually pull out one of the shacks like 30 years later? I honestly don't know how much the shack is worth now. This box was pretty inexpensive. I got it off eBay. I think I want to say for around like $19 or $20 shipped out the door. It did not cost very much at all. Now, this is, you know, back in the day of the junk wax. I have no idea how many packs I've ripped open so far. We'll just rip open like three quarters of the stack at least. Then we'll go through the chunks and see what I have. Actually, I might just do all three stacks. Rip open all three stacks. You know, like one stack at a time. Because if not, I'm sure you don't want to. You don't want to see me rip open 36 individual packs one at a time, going through every card and every pack for 36 packs. That would be an absolutely excruciatingly boring video. I know some breakers do that, and it can be painfully boring to watch that kind of nonsense. Here we go. First 12 packs. Here, <laughs> a chunk. These might be kind of stuck together just because of the age of them. I think some of these cards are kind of stuck. Here we go. Adrian Autry, Barry Brown, Isaiah Ryder. All rookie team card. I don't also expect to pull anything good out of this. Of course, the best thing is going to be the Shaq autograph. I remember that card. Yes, the 94 Classic had these kind of like cartoony cards of the like of the rookies that year. I remember that set. That was a cool, back then, cool set. Ooh, we have, I think this is like what, one gold card per pack, I think it was, Brian Reese. And then we have membership application. I think I'm about 30 years too late. Oh, Glenn Robinson, rookie. No, actually, that's 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 not his rookie, though, is it? No, I don't think so. Yes, it is. 94 was his rookie year, right? Yeah. Let's see, Sam Mitchell. Trash, trash. <laughs> All these guys. He's a decent current in the NBA. Charlie Ward, two-sport star. A gold. That's very hard to read. Carl Ray Harris. 
Jamie Jalen Rose. He was actually a pretty decent ball player. Now he's like on ESPN, I think, right? ESPN. Alonzo. Junk wax. Gold of, I cannot read that. Robert Church, Churchwell. And our first, like, insert. These, <laughs> this just screams 90s. And look at that foil. Call Ed Reeves, Dickie V's, P.T. Piers. That's just 90s foil goodness right there. Pretty cool looking card. I think. Pretty cool looking card. Here we go. We still got more in this chunk. Jason. Can't put Jason right there. Eddie Jones. Good ball player. So I'm stuck to it. Khalid Reeves. Somebody's starting to stick a little bit. And then gold of... I can't read that. That's so hard to read. I, I honestly cannot even read it. Swenson something? I don't know. Colorado Harris, more cards stuck. Patrick Ewing. Eric Montrose. Some stuff there. You never know the Shack will probably be stuck to like different card. Dickie Simpkins. So it's stuck to that one. Come on, Shaq autograph. How cool would that be? Never pulled one back in the 90s. Today, if I hit one, that'd be incredible. Odds are, you know, insanely low. Crazy low. Iron Starks, John Howard. Glenn Robinson. Oh, I remember that card when I was a kid. I had that card. And a checklist. Yeah, that thing is awesome. Cool, cool, cool set. Cool set. Glenn Robinson. We're still, <laughs> this first chunk, this is a lot of cards. This is a lot of cards going through all these. Let me actually adjust my camera a little bit. There, down a little bit more. Adjust the camera down a little bit. Makes it easier to actually see these cards when I pull them out. Strong right. Damon Bailey, IU great. Damon Bailey went to uh, Bedford North Lawrence High School here in Indiana. Damon Bailey. Oh, that's a Jason Kidd gold. That's nice, actually. Probably worth at least a buck. Jason Kidd base gold back in the day. That was probably like a $10, $15 card, I bet, that gold. <laughs> Look at how many cards left in this first chunk still. I'm going to go faster, but some of these are sticking. I don't want to accidentally bypass that, ooh, Shaq. Bypass the Shaq autograph card, and then later on, you're down the road, I go through these cards, I'm like, man... These cards were stuck together, and there was a Shaq autograph. Yeah, was it Brooks Thompson, I think is what it said? Hard to read. I think so it was stuck to that one. Chris Weber. Greg Miner. If this is a board video, give me a heck yeah down in the comment section. These are just so many cards. 90s goodness. Cards were cheap. Sticking together a little bit. Ooh, Chris Weber gold. Back in the day, once again, that probably been another like 10 to 15 hour card right there. Back in the day. Obviously, not anymore. But back in the 90s, that would have been a good good hit right there. You could trade into that back to the card shop. They probably would have given you like three or four more packs for it. Or you could have sold it to them. Yinka Dar, I remember him. Or you could have sold it back to them for maybe like half what it's worth if you didn't want it. So many cards stuck together. Grant Hill. Duke. I actually should put that up there instead of just throwing off to the side. Grant Hill. Checklist again. Whatever that says. Jamie Watson. Collector's Club. Almost done this stack. My goodness, this thing is insane. Brooks Thompson. Clayton Ritter. Dikembe Butombo. This actually might become like a three-part video, I think. This is taking way too long. Back-to-back -back checklist? Are you are you serious? Collation, classic. Collation. Man, that's stuck. Jason Kidd, that's his, like, whatever that card's called, like the comic card. Who's that? Travis Ford, remember him? Jeff Webster. Come on. Man, those are stuck really bad. There we go. Glenn Robinson, base rookie again. Man, come on. Get off there. 
Nothing. This last small chunk. Alonzo, Tyrone. If these didn't stick together, I could actually burn through these things so much faster. John Howard from that set. Cool looking cards. Last one, Michael Smith. So that took like 10 minutes to go through the first 12 packs in this box. That took a long time. My goodness. Look at that chunk of cards right there. That's craziness. So since this video was like super duper long, I'll just break this up into like probably a three-part series and 12 packs for each part. So if you want to see the next 12 packs from this video, I guess maybe next week or two weeks, you'll see part number two. But thanks for watching. Junk wax can be fun and it can be a little bit boring too at times, but I'll see you in part two. Bye.